Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you and definitely bring you very interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai <laughs> and Ife Oluo <laughs> <laughs> So, Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, Ife Omai. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, my. Oh, my. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing? Well, how are you? Um, you look amazing. jealous of your pink. I was going to say you look normal. Of course I look nice. Of course. But then I just, I'm just really thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and you too, Faye, you look pretty nice. Always, man. Don't worry. You don't need to state the obvious all the time. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Elton John um, is sued by is sued for three point eight million dollars um, by his ex-wife for talking about their marriage in his memoir. She claims the singer broke the terms of their divorce deal. She's suing over pages in his 2019 memoir, Me, and the hit movie Rocket Man, claiming the disclosures triggered long-standing mental health problems. In response, um, Sir Elton's defense acknowledged the existence of the divorce agreement, which both parties signed, but denied any breaches of cause or causing psychological harm. This is strange because um, if there was an agreement, whether or not you are speaking about me in a good light, but I'm saying we signed an agreement that whatever it is after this breakup, you're never to speak or write about me or make a movie about our life and involve me without my knowledge and you go ahead to do that. There's still breach of conscience. So his defense of saying that he has only spoken about it in good light doesn't really suffice in this case because the agreement is we're not speaking about each other you're not mm. doing this and then four years after our breakup you came out to be gay obviously that's some trauma for any woman because let's let's be realistic because um you got married to a man who you felt was um a straight man right and then four years down the line you discovered that he's been having affairs with men while he was still married to you come on that's psychological trauma for any woman I don't so you think want... she has a case, basically? Yeah, she does have a well, case. Well, you know, it depends on what the sign and what the clause is in the agreement is. Because, you see, when they talk about documents and signing, I don't trust lawyers. And of even course. the ones that prepare mm. the documents you're signing, lawyers. you know, mm. they can... It's, it, it could be one word that would turn the whole conversation. Mm. But regardless, I, I, I get where you're coming from. And um, I just hope that they find a way to settle this because she's saying that it's not just about have been mentioned in the book is a misrepresentation of what they had so that they already planned from get go to have mm. a family and have children but according to i've not read the book anyway so in the book um he is making it seem like that wasn't the plan from the get-go mm. and all that so a lot of misrepresentation according to her and you know when things happen i feel like there's always three truths for when it's not a case of anyone lying now there's a way you see things i will see things in another way and then the proper representation of what it really is so my I side hope they are able side and to the sort truth. this out um, i'm calling everything the truth right now no i'm not talking of those that are lying or mm. trying to scheme the way we see things are different i, so I hope that they can sort it out i mean really. i don't know what the like you said i don't know what the clothes are because mm -hmm. he didn't actually use her name and i think with the movie he tried a lot harder to i guess oh they've actually admitted that he she appeared in eight pages in his book yes yes so, but mm -hmm. the way he and the, the way he analyzed it or the way he presented it um, it wasn't, I mean, we know who he was talking about, but he didn't actually like use her actual name and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know, maybe legally speaking, that covers anything. Um, I'm going to have to say, though, that I, I suspect that, with your point, I don't think she was unaware that he was gay. I don't think so. And I don't know how much trauma you want to have from 1989 to this point because a man was gay. Like, that is a bit of an extreme to me. I mean, if you had the if you had the trauma then, I understand that maybe there was disease and there was betrayal. But a lot has happened since then. You've moved on. You've lived your life. Now he wants to write a book, and then it's bringing up traumas. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I don't really see the empathy that she's asking for. I don't really see it. But I understand that if you've signed something, let's see how it goes because depending on the clause, like you said, on who wrote it, maybe the fact that he didn't really use her name might 
be able because until she came out to say actually you're talking about me i think it's just hearsay and if and maybe and it could be Nish, let me tell you why that won't work because if it's a memoir it's about my life true life so it's, not fiction. so it's not fiction so if i'm talking about a marriage which i only had one obviously i'm only we speaking about is, one yeah. person mm. so that wouldn't suffice like even if i don't use your name we all we know, know who it is, is. Yeah. yeah i mean we had a similar case with um Toke Makinwa and her ex-husband mm. when this happened, although that was, I don't know if the finance settled out of course or how that case went, but it's similar. So mm. when you're writing a memoir, it's different from me saying I'm writing um, fiction to mm. encourage people. Mm. It is my life story. So imagine if I'm writing something Isn't about this more, table and yeah. I say I had um, two anchors and I described the female, I described the male. I mean, mm. we know but what I'm talking about. Would you not say that, it's in, it's, that is even, it's, it's this point that you can't, I guess you've signed a legal document, but I feel like if you're writing a story about your life, like it's going to be impossible not to talk about mm -hmm. the marriage. And depends on what they sign, like I said. And depending on what I agree to. Now, mm -hmm. in such in, in such cases, you're supposed to bring it to me before you publish. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to approve that. Okay, can you take this out? Okay, we're supposed to have a mutual mm -hmm. agreement. But if none of that happens, she has a case. Yeah, you should pay the money if she has made the money anyway. Tea time continues right after this short break. <laughs>